you, you know, you're, you have an opportunity to be the uh, to take on one of the voices on Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, what is it like to be a part of you know, a video game like that that has you know such uh, it, it's such a groundbreaking game and, and it's you know accomplished a lot of things in terms of uh, gaming. I have, I have to be honest. I was really blessed that Assassin's Creed was my first game, um, uh, and then triply blessed that it was Altair, which I was given as, a, as the first role that I got, because Assassin's Creed is a completely unique franchise. I mean, if you look at all the amazing games out there, like Call of Duty and Halo, which I did, uh, you got like Grand Theft Auto, you got like uh, every type of RPG and first-person shooter and all that stuff. Assassin's Creed is unique on the landscape and the historical nature of what it does. Like, it's incredible the research they do uh, with the cities and the towns and the history and the the characters that you get to meet, the real people that did real things back then, and then your characters put in the middle of all that, trying to mitigate and manipulate the politics of what's going on, <clears throat> all for the greater good. So there's a really great moral kind of compass to the game, there's incredible visuals, incredible gameplay, real great story, great characters, it's just like great, great, great all the way down. Well, Olympus is a brand new show. We're just shooting it now. We just shot the pilot up in Vancouver. It's a sci-fi series. It's going to air, I think, beginning of uh, 2015. Uh, it's kind of um, an action thriller set in ancient Greek times with the gods and goddesses and Zeus and Thor and all those guys. Uh, but it's a very gritty, dark, sexy, and, and funny kind of a story. There's like violence and gore and action and intrigue and betrayal and lust and all the good stuff you want from one of those type of shows. Like lots of sword play and magic and, and I play uh, priest Xerxes, one of the uh, priests of one of the goddess gods um, in this realm. But he's a very, um, let's just say he's a very unique man of his cloth in that he's, a, he's highly motivated by power and by um, the adoration of the people around him. So he's he's not quite, he's, he's a little bit of a, a dark force in the show. Okay. Uh, so you're here at Comic-Con, uh, and let me ask, is this your, your first uh, Comic-Con? You, oh, okay. Second. Second, okay. Well, with that being said, um, you know, you've had an opportunity to be a part of the gaming world, and, you know, now you're uh, with uh, Olympus now. Yeah. Uh, can you touch on, like, some of the... You know, uh, if if you weren't here, you know, uh, um, a part of any of those projects, you know, what would what was something that you know when you were you know when you were coming up, gaming wise, or even uh, something that you currently watch on television that you're a fan of that you wanted to check out while you're here. Well, you know what? Um, if I wasn't here because of the work I'm doing, I would be here as a fan because I'm a huge geek, I'm a huge gamer, I'm a huge comic book collector, a fantasy lover. So I'd be here on the other side, like wide-eyed and mouth open looking at all the new games and all the comic books and all the sci-fi trailers and all the exposés huge fan of games like um, the last of us that came out last year awesome game sure. best game of the year I called it when I got it I said this is gonna be the best game of the year and it got like 200 best game of the year awards It was awesome um, and I just love all the the new fa fantasy and sci-fi shows and I love the panels for these big events like I think they're planning some huge Avengers thing coming up, which uh, we're all looking forward to. All right. Well, thank you so much, man. Appreciate your time. Um, I guess I guess I'll start. Um, you know, you, you've done, you know, so much work in uh, with, you know, mo uh, as monsters. I feel that you're kind of like a staple now when it comes to, like, pop culture, especially here at Comic-Con. You know, does it ever become, you know, old, you know, year from year that you, you know, return here to the, uh, to the event each judge a lot? I, I never get tired of it, no. You know what? A good a good role is a good role. Any actor will tell you that. Yeah. And if it's covered in heavy makeups or if it's using this ugly face of mine, uh, I'm, if, if it's juicy, a good storyline, good uh, character interaction, and a great director, other actors I want to work with, those are all the factors that come in. Yeah, so I'm, I'm always happy to do that. All right, cool. Uh, well, Fallen Skies, uh, you know, there's, I understand that it's, it's about to, you know, come to a, a close. It's about to come to a conclusion. We have, I guess, there's one more, one more season. Um, you know, do you think that you guys, you, that you're going to become, you know, emotional, you know, once once it finally comes to a close? Because I'm sure, you know, you guys have developed definitely like a family, a family type of atmosphere there after all, all, that, all those years. You do, indeed. Uh, uh, 
Yes, we're, season four is currently airing now on TNT Sunday nights at 10, 9 central. Uh, but um, next season, it will be number five will be our final one they've announced now. So I, I'm sure filming that last episode will be a tearjerker. Because, you know, you, you do build a family, a sense of family. And in this kind of a show, it's post-apocalyptic. It's a survival show where everyone really clings to each other and needs each other. So emotions run even, a little bit higher even, I think, on something like that. My character being an alien, though, I'm the one who's kind of removed, but still friendly to the to the humans. So, we'll see we'll see how that plays out. Uh, you know, in December when we're filming the last episode. All right, great. Uh, well, speaking of TV shows, you also have another uh, show that uh, that that, uh, that you have uh, as well. Um, Nobility. Uh, can you, can you talk talk a bit about you know uh, what what your role is in that in that uh, show? Uh, Nobility is it's a hilarious uh, take on on outer space, typical space uh, uh, ship sci-fi TV with a spin of The Office, right? So it's, you've got like misfits running a spaceship and testimonial video like this where they're talking about things away from everybody else. And I play the ship's psychiatrist who is probably more in need of therapy than anybody else on the ship. And I'm kind of handsy. They wrote it specifically for me because I'm kind of a hugger and a petter and like, oh, everything's going to be okay. So they wrote the part for me to be that guy. So I'm a counselor with no, with no boundaries. <laughs> It's actually quite funny, yeah.